What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Trucker Named Jay. Checking in, checking in. Trying something new with the channel, man. Trying to uh, do different things with my channel and uh, make different type of videos so it's not just the same old boring stuff. Um, so what, what this is, this is going to be comments of the week. Um, I, I really want my subscribers to know that I am watching uh, what they type. Uh, whether it's trolls, supporters, whatever, other YouTubers. So I'm going to try to do this segment at least uh, maybe once or twice a week. Uh, just replying back or reacting to different comments that come across my uh, comment section. Um, the reason I'm going to include some of the troll comments is just because I want them to know that they really don't bother me. So if anything, I'm just going to use them to create more content which will in turn eventually lead to more money from my monetization once I get to 10,000 views. So, uh, if you see your comment up here, you can reply, of course, um, by video or by comment. And, you know, it's not going to, most of the time, it shouldn't be anything negative. It should be more fun, positive, uh, of like, you know, reaction and just, you know, explaining why I chose this comment, whether good or bad. So... Without further ado, we're going to get to the first comment, and we're going to see how this goes. All right. So this, these type of videos would not be, it wouldn't even be right to not first go to this gentleman right here. I want to say his name is Kevin B. Uh, some think he a troll. Some think he's a hater. Man, I don't mind the dude. He has an opinion. He states it on the regular. He all isn't always my biggest fan, but hey, you know, people like this, you just gotta watch out for, man. They just talk just to hear themselves and they type just to feel, you know, I feel like a sense of uh power. You know what I mean? Like anybody can be anybody they want to be on the internet, whether through video or text. Uh, you know what I mean? And 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 you know, you can see the, the pain. <laughs> I am sick to death watching you sit at home and complain all day long. You always change your damn mind, Jay. Then complain when good people like me give you good advice. Don't ever come up to me and say, what's up? If I ever see you anywhere, I have to work my ass off to raise my kids. Yada, 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 yada. Here's my thing, man. When you have to put this much negative energy into something... Nine times out of ten, you have a miserable life. You know, I don't know who this guy is. Don't think I've ever met him. So at the end of the day, for him to be this mad at me, man, he, he got to be mad at himself. That's the way I look at it. I may be wrong. Um, I do agree that I am always changing my mind, but I've all, I've already put that out. You know what I mean? I'm working on improving myself and my decision-making, trying to take the emotion out of it. So I don't have no problems with that. So the moral of this comment, man, which makes this a comment of the week, is just when you have people like this, just ignore them. You know what I mean? Whenever you see someone say, I'm sick to death of watching you, or I'm sick of you, this, that, and the third. Hey, man, nobody has a gun to your head. It's forced you to watch my videos or even putting up with my existence. You can go back to doing whatever the fuck you were doing before you knew of my existence, and we both can go on with our lives, okay? People like this, people, you have to just, you know, Turn your back on them, but turn the other cheek. Don't give them that energy. I know I'm saying that while I'm giving them energy, but, you know, just don't let people like this get to you. Kevin B., I appreciate you giving me this negative energy and showing me exactly how not to be on YouTube when commenting on other people's videos. Thank you, sir, for this very first comment of the week. All right, here we are with number two coming from a DTU 40. Now, here's the mistake that I used to make. All right, I used to assume that everybody who, who posted something negative or in a harsh way automatically considered them a troll. And what I had to realize is I had to stop doing that because some people aren't trolls, some people aren't, uh, you know. They don't have evil intent. They're just people who are straightforward. You know, they tend to be they tend to be older people, straightforward, no bullshitting. You know, not trying to you know don't care about your feelings. They're gonna give it to you a hundred percent raw, and real. And at the end of the day, I have to, I've learned to respect people like this, and that's why I like this comment. It says it ain't about being perfect. Just stick to something longer than a month. 
Black Fala, we aren't your enemy, Trucker J. You're in your head and are and are the enemy of yourself. That is very well said. Um, and as you, you can even see the reply comment down there, uh, it says sums it up nicely. And, you know, like I said, when I originally saw this, you know, I, I you know, it was up troll, troll, troll. But then I had to sit down. I thought about it. I looked at it from a, a mature, a mature, I put two ends of mature. How about that? A mature standpoint. I'm like, you know what? It's absolutely right, man. I've definitely been in my own head, you know, and, 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 and I've been my own worst enemy, not just in trucking, just in life. And, and, and what this comment can teach someone is that sometimes, man, you got to get out of your own fucking way. You know, a lot of us are right there where we are supposed to be right there on the brink of success. And we're just in our own way. You know, we're, we're holding ourselves back. We're second guessing ourselves. And, and, and it's frustrating, man. You know, we want to then we stop and we blame everybody else. We blame friends. We blame family. We blame the system. We blame our trucking companies. We blame taxes. We blame whatever. We are our own worst enemies. And that's what this comment is pretty much saying. And I respect it. You know what I mean? I 100% respect it. I appreciate this comment from DTU40. Um, it was well said, man. Uh, maybe he's a troll. Maybe he's not. I don't think he's a troll. I think he's just somebody who is strict, straight to the point. And I appreciate you for sharing this with me, man. And here we are with another very hateful comment, in my opinion. Um, the reason I chose this was because he said something in here. It says, I'll give him three months before he... Whoops, had a notification, sorry. I'll give him three months before he have his fat ass back on this couch explaining why he left Swift again. Jay, you should quit trucking and just sell plasma. This is awful, man. And you know what's crazy? Um, I laughed at it, you know, as you can see in the reply. But, like, when I sat there and thought about that thing, man, like, you know, some people do got to sell plasma, and that's not something, you know, you should play around with. I'm pretty sure by the picture in his profile, he's probably an old school. Uh, and the guy's name is Dadon, D-A-D-O-N. Uh, I'm not going to automatically call him a troll, but he sounds like a guy who was maybe born with a silver spoon in his mouth, you know, never knew about the struggle. Because anybody that comes from the struggle... You ain't, you ain't joking around telling people to go sell plasma because some people actually got to do that shit and make that little 25 to $35 a day, okay? So that's not something that we joke around with where I come from. So definitely this is somebody who's probably nine times out of ten not of uh, African-American descent. And if he is, he's definitely not from poverty, you know what I mean? Um, and he's telling me I should just quit trucking and just sell plasma. Here's the thing, man. I've made a lot of mistakes in trucking since I've been in it, but I don't think I'm that bad off to where I should just... Basically, you're telling me to give up because I've messed up a couple of small things, messed up a couple of situations, fell on my face a couple of times. You're just telling me just to quit, just to give up on life? I don't agree with that, man. Everybody makes mistakes, whether they put them on a public platform or not. And, and, and for somebody from the outside of this, you know, me and him conversation or this comment looks at this, this may affect them, man. Look, man, you got to look at situations and look at people like this guy here. And the, and the way I look at it, who are you to judge me? You know what I mean? Who are you to tell me to quit? Who are you to tell me to give up? You don't know where I come from. You don't know how bad I want this. You know what I mean? Just because I made a couple bad emotional decisions or made a couple of mistakes, I mean, I'm just going to give up. Come on now. Stop it, dude. Come on now got to be more positive about things yeah i've made a couple of mistakes that mean i'm gonna get better not make those mistakes again and hopefully become a better truck driver and if i'm not in three months you're still gonna be watching my videos so i really don't understand this comment but oh well and here's the final one i'm gonna do on this actual video this is from good old buddy atomic 3939 atomic 3939 was another guy who i originally assumed was a troll and upon further review of a lot of the comments that were, uh, he or she made, I just sit back and was like, ah, not really a troll, just somebody with a strong opinion that I may not always agree with. But here he says, breaking news, a trucker named Jade is, is asking rookie drivers if they really want to be OTR drivers. Film at 11. And for those who may not understand, it's basically in a nutshell, he's 
he's saying it's ironic that I'm asking if anybody else is sure they want to be OTR when I'm the one that was just debating between OTR and local. I get it. It's funny. I laughed. You know, I, I, you know, I have a sense of humor. I'm not that sensitive anymore. I have a little sensitivity left, but not as much. But um, I appreciate this comment. I want to highlight just because it's like, yeah, man, you know, I, I recently went through a local in, in, in OTR back and forth for the last year, you know, deciding whether or not I wanted to be OTR, whether or not I wanted to be local. And yes, I feel like that makes me one of the best qualified people to be able to let people know what they're getting themselves into because I have gone through this and still sometimes struggle with this. The emotion and the mental game that comes with leaving the house and being away from family is something that is not easily done by someone like me and there may be other people out there like me now some people who are a little bit more focused a little bit older a little bit more mature and can keen in, keen in on what they want to do with their goals it's easier for them but for me i'm not there yet i'm still growing i'm mature and i'm not done but i'm not finished either so i'm just hoping that i can eventually get to a point where you know i can you know leave the house and and, and be focused and you know and not have to you know second guess myself like i said earlier on going back and being local so but i appreciate this is very funny to me uh and you know it is what it is so yeah this is the type of videos i'm gonna be doing man i'm gonna throw these up one like maybe once a week and uh if i get a lot of good comments in a week maybe i'll do it twice a week so i don't make it too too long but uh it's just my way and showing the people that i am watching uh, uh, I'm not going to be like some of these big time YouTubers and act like I don't watch these comments. I watch every single comment and, and I have a conversation with friends about these comments. So now this is my way and have a conversation with y'all about these comments. So I hope you liked the video. Now here's a video of me waking up and my family loading up my truck. So I wake up, right? I'm making a video. I wake up. Look who in my truck. And here, organizing my truck. They put my CB in here. They done put everything and put my CPAP in here. He is out here playing with grandma. Grandma, run, baby, run. Yeah. I done came out here, man. And they done organized my whole damn truck. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Look at it. They got all these condiments. Yeah. Put the microwave. What's in here? Yeah, they made my bed. And your bags is underneath here. And that's what I'm talking about. I just got up like five minutes ago, and I got a load that don't pick up till tomorrow afternoon. Going to Dallas. That's what this shit right here. Um, messaging. Let me see. Yep. $100. Yeah, that's crazy. Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all the outside of the truck. I don't have no shoes on. Oh. Say what up, Jay? Huh? Hey, what's hey. up? What you run that street, boy? She's dirty. But it's a 2018, man. You know which tail we get the truck is. By oh, this right here. First two numbers. It's still an old body style, but it's a 2018. I ain't tripping. It's dirty. I ain't tripping. It's free. I mean, it's a better truck than I was leasing. So. You want to be in the video? What you got to say to the people? What you gotta say about my truck? Oh, you quiet now. Yeah. That's what it is, man. Keep it right in the driveway.